Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So, if you are managing your Azure virtual machines, knowing how to handle uh, disk effectively is very important. So, in this today's video, I will walk you through uh, how to add, remove, detach, and extend the Azure disk step by step. All right. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into the Azure portal. So, I have already created a virtual machine by the name of VM Test. And if I click on this VM test, if I go on disk settings, settings and under disk, you will find only, uh, we have only one uh, disk attached, that is the operating system disk, and that is of 127 GB. So we will first add uh, a new disk to disk, a data disk. To add a data disk, we will create an attach, create and attach a new disk. So then we have to give the uh, disk name. Let's give a uh, disk name underscore data underscore disk data underscore disk zero one. Uh, what type of storage account you wanted to choose? I want to have a default option that is premium SSD and the size I would like to have is around 100 GB and the rest of things I will keep it as default inscription is managed and read only and will click and apply. Meanwhile, the disk is attaching. I will go to my Azure virtual machine and uh, if I click on start button, right click on start and go on disk management, you will find, uh, okay, the disk is now uh, got initialized. So the disk is attached. If I go back to the portal and if I say, yeah, disk is there. And if I go back on my Azure virtual machine, it is saying you need to initialize the disk. So what we will do, we will initialize the disk. Before that, let me check the file explorer. And over there, you only be able to see one disk that is the OS disk and one is the temporary disk. So let's do one thing. Let's initialize it. So now the disk is now in an unallocated state. Now right click on this new sample volume, click next. I want to create a default drive letter E and click next and finish. Once this is done, uh, the disk will be visible at your file explorer by 100 GB. It is available now. So now this is very easy now to extend the virtual machine. How to extend the virtual machine? Let's go back to the uh, portal. This is the virtual machine that, that, that this is the uh, disk that we have created. How and uh, we need to click on the disk that we want to extend. Uh, before uh, extending the disk, uh, go on configuration, sorry, go on size and performance. And from here, you can actually change the disk size, but it is always recommended that. Uh, you shut down your machine, uh, stop your all operations and then go ahead and start the uh, disk upgrade process or disk resizing process. So what we will do, we will stop this machine. Uh, it will be in deallocated de state in some time. Now the machine is under stop but it is in deallocating mode. Let's go back to the disk, data disk that we want to upgrade size and performance and let's make it around 140 GB. I will make it around 140 GB, apply OK or we will save, click on save. Now we will go back to overview, disk configure I mean we, we, we will go back to the virtual machine disk and see whether it has been upgraded or not we will refresh it it's still showing for 100 100 GB but uh, it's loading yeah it is showing that now it is 140 GB now we have to go back again to the virtual machine uh, so that we can extend the partition that was created for us so before that, let's start this machine. Okay, now this machine is still it in, in deallocated state. So it will take some time when it is in deallocate, deallocating state. So when this machine is deallocated, then only the option of start will be getting populated for us. 
so we have to wait for some more time now see it is in stopped and deallocated state we'll click on start now, now the status has moved from stop deallocated state to starting now it is running so we'll try to connect to the virtual machine now we are on the machine now okay if you go back to the file explorer and see whether the size has been upgraded or not you will notice that the size will remain the same it is 99.8 uh, GB around 100 GB now to extend this size you have to make some changes or to add the another disk you can do what you can do you can right click on start button and go for disk management under disk management you will find uh, unallocated state available of 40 GB remember we have extended it by 40 GB uh, we have created it it was already by 100 GB and we have added 140 extra so now 40 GB is unallocated now you what you can do you can create a separate disk if you want to have a different drive letter you can do it or if you want to have to be added it over here you can do that one also so let's do one thing right click on it and you will find the option called uh, extend volume I click on next what size you want to do it I want to add the entire size click OK next shift and you will see the that partition has been merged over the existing uh, disk partition and if I go back and if I refresh this let's refresh it and you can see there is 139 GB of space available so now this is how you can actually extend your uh, disk partition from portal as well as from the disk now same as with the uh, Linux also if you have a Linux machine and if you have added the disk you can use the command grow called grow partition or uh, resize uh, 2fs that help you to grow the partition of your existing disk now how to detach a disk in ideal scenario uh, to detach a disk it is very easy on uh, on Azure console go on to the disk and if the disk that you wanted to detach let, let's this is the data disk that you want to detach at the end you will find this option called detach but it is always recommended not to do it directly from here first you should go to the virtual machine and first right click on the disk manager uh, open the disk manager uh, go on and make it offline why why we can make it offline so because there are uh, operations that are running from the virtual machines or maybe you have some of uh, your application that is continuously writing on the disk, uh, disk virtual machine so that to avoid that uh, issue it sometimes it can create some issues so to avoid that you can actually make it offline once this is become 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 offline then you can go back to your uh, portal and from here you can actually detach it it is very easy now it is updating the virtual machine it will take some time now the machine uh, the uh, disk has been detached if you go back to overview and come back over here on disk you will see it is not there if you re wanted to attach, attach it attach existing disk browse it and remove and add it now what if if you wanted to if you have detached this disk and if you wanted to remove it now you have to go back to the uh, resource group where you have actually provisioned it so this is the resource group where we have actually provisioned the data uh, the virtual machine so under here you will find the data disk over here click on it and from here you can actually delete the data disk this is how you can actually delete the uh, data disk it will take some time and uh, now before deleting a data disk check the dependency uh, i would recommend you to check the dependency of deleting the data disk maybe you can take a snapshot of the backup as a best practice use as your policies to prevent accidental deletion i mean in, if you are in production uh, if you have not applied logs to it 
then uh, you can definitely use uh, Azure policies uh, to prevent accidental deletion. Uh, you can monitor unattached disk uh, to using Azure uh, advisory to optimize your cost because if a disk is not attached, that means that is not being used and you are getting charged for it. So these are some of the best practice that you can uh, use it in your production environment. So this was the small introduction about how uh, you can actually uh, add, extend, detach, remove a disk and with the best practices. So if you found this video helpful, please uh, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day.